Hi friends, it's me, Bebo, and my best friend Buggy's here too. Hello everyone. Today, we're gonna learn about volcanoes. So, what exactly are volcanoes, Buggy? Volcanoes are the opening through Earth's crust, where the magma gets pushed through due to extreme pressure from within the Earth's mantle. Hmm. Why don't we start by explaining the Earth's crust, mantle, and core? Look here. The Earth's crust is this outer portion here. And it's nice and cool and allows life to exist, like you, me, and Buggy here. The Earth's crust is only 18 miles deep, so it's fairly thin compared to how large the rest of the Earth is. But once you go underneath the crust, you reach what's called the mantle. The Earth's mantle is made up of molten magma, which is rock, but it's so hot, it's in the form of a liquid rather than a solid like these. And below the mantle is the outer core, and underneath that is the inner core, but we'll cover those in another episode. For now, we're gonna focus on the mantle and the crust. Think of a volcano like this bottle of carbonated water. We have the Earth's crust up here, and then down below we have all this liquid magma boiling up and creating pressure. So when the volcano gets to a certain point and the pressure is high enough, it explodes and causes an eruption, like this. So we know that pressure makes a volcano with all that magma in the mantle burst up through the Earth's crust like that bottle of carbonated water. And the Earth's crust is made up of a bunch of different materials, like this dirt that I'm shoveling. And eventually, the weakest point in the Earth's crust is where it breaks and causes the formation of the volcano in the first place. But not all volcanoes explode. Some of them already have holes in the Earth's crust. And when the magma gets enough pressure, they flow out just like this. Now I know volcanoes seem like big fiery mountains of destruction, but they actually do a lot of good as well. Volcanic ash is kind of like fertilizer, like this. And it has lots of nutrients that help new plants and all kinds of life grow. But that's not the only good they do. When a volcano breaks through the Earth's crust somewhere in the ocean, the magma cools off into water and creates rock. That's how Hawaii was made. Five different volcanoes all erupted underneath the ocean floor to form the islands. How cool is that? Now, I don't want you to be too worried about volcanoes because most of them are dormant or extinct. Dormant means they're sleeping. Sleeping volcanoes are expected to erupt again at some point in the future. If a volcano hasn't erupted in over 10,000 years, it's what we call extinct, and we don't know if they will ever erupt again. All right, guys. Now, let's have some fun and make our own volcano that we can do an eruption out of. You're going to need a couple of things, and always make sure you ask your mom or your dad or whoever your parents are to help you before you do this. We need a bin with something to make a mold with. We need some plaster, a bucket to mix with, a cup for some water, a drill, and a plastic liner. First step is we need to make a mold for our volcano. So you want to take and dig out a little cone so that you can pour the plaster in there. You want it to be deep and like a cone. Like that. Now, you want to lay down your plastic liner so your plaster doesn't stick to anything. Mm. 
now we add our plaster to a bucket and we mix it up before we pour it in. Now, we want to add our water. For every one cup of water, you want two cups of plaster. If you have power tools, they can help you mix really fast, which is the next step. But you always want your parents' help. Otherwise, you can use a really big stick to mix it up too. The last two parts are first, take the cup you were using and make the mouth of your volcano by putting the opening at the very bottom. Just like that. Now we gotta pour the plaster. Okay, now we just have to let the plaster dry. About 30 to 45 minutes and then we're gonna paint. Be right back. Okay, the plaster should be all dry now. Let's pull out our volcano and see how it looks. All right, check that out. Now, all we have to do is paint it. Buggy, do you know what colors a volcano is? Volcanoes are made out of igneous rock, which are primarily red, gray, and black. Perfect. We've got all those colors right here. We have red, black, and white. And we can use black and white to make gray. Let's paint it. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good volcano to me. Now we're just gonna let it dry and then we'll make it erupt. We'll be right back. Now the volcano's paint is all nice and dry and we're gonna make it erupt. You need some baking soda and some vinegar. And if you want, you can make it red just like real magma by adding some food coloring. Just like that. Make sure you put plenty in there for a nice big eruption. Ready? Let's check it out. How cool is that? And that's what it's like when a volcano erupts. Let's go finish things up. All right guys, that was it for our volcano episode. But before we go, we got fan mail. I wonder what it says. Why don't you go ahead and read it? Great idea. <clears throat> Dear Bebo and Buggy, in class today, my teacher showed us a trick with a bowling ball and a golf ball and was teaching us about gravity. But she doesn't make it very fun. It would be cool if you guys made a fun episode to learn about gravity. Great idea! But you forgot your name on the letter. Can't forget that. Buggy, before we go, why don't you give them the question of the day? All right. During the video, we mentioned what kind of rocks volcanoes are made out of. In the comments below, give us your answer, and we'll pick someone to win our giveaway. And parents, if you like the episode, you'll love our channel. Be sure to subscribe so you can see all our videos. See you next time. Bye!